There are three absolutes when it comes to the gas inside our cylinders at the technical diving level. The first is that that gas gets analyzed. The second is that it gets labeled. And the third is anytime we're doing a gas switch underwater, we do that with a buddy as part of a team gas switch procedure. Now, when it comes to labeling our tanks, there's a couple of good practices that we can adopt and there's some that we want to avoid. So to start, we'll look at our main cylinders. Now, and this applies whether it's doubles or side mount. We analyze the gas and all that we really need to know is this right here. This is a totally appropriate label for this cylinder. This tells us the gas that's in there from the analyzer. That's what we program into our computer and put into our dive planning application. If we wanted some more information, we could add some like this. Now here we've got the percentage, initials, an MOD, and the date of analysis. We don't use this label underwater for any kind of gas switch procedure on our mains, but having the MOD on there is a good reminder as we're programming that gas into our computer of the maximum operating depth of that gas. Now the big problem that you can run into if you decide to put a whole bunch of data on your label is if you get sloppy and you can't read it, you might end up thinking it's an incorrect gas. So if you have a tendency to do that, stick with simple. And obviously with doubles, we would only want one label. I just had both of those on there as an example. After every day of diving, before I get fills, I'm gonna peel this label off. And that forces me to put a new label on every time to ensure the gas is analyzed. Whenever we're using a decompression gas, we have to do a team gas switch, whether that's using the acronym MODS or any other kind of team-based gas switch procedure. And the purpose of that is to validate that we're switching to the correct gas at the correct depth. So, all we care about when it comes to labeling decompression tanks is depth. This is the maximum operating depth that this gas can be used. That indicates to us or our buddy, if we're going to switch to that gas below the maximum operating depth, to not do that. There's two labels that we care about on these cylinders. That's our neck label for us and our buddy label for our buddy during the gas switch procedure. On decompression tanks, I still use the same neck label methodology. However, the most important data here is this MOD. That's what I need to be able to see very clearly underwater and ensure that the depth on my computer is equal to or less than 20. Everything else is extra, but this has to be super clear. The same applies for our buddy label. Our buddy label is what we show our buddy before we switch. This 20 and oxygen tell our buddy everything that they need to know. That's their role, is to confirm the gas switch. We don't want to give them any more data than this 20 right here. So this is the absolute. They need to know what depth that this gas is appropriate to breathe at or shallower, and that's how they can confirm our gas switch. Permanent labels work out best for buddy labels. If we don't have that option, then we need to make big, clear buddy labels, so that way they can tell us whether or not this is the correct gas to switch to. And again, this is the data that matters to them. We don't want to confuse it by adding a whole bunch of more information onto that sticker. It needs to be the MOD and that's it. We also want that label to be at least two inches tall so that way it's easy to read because remember there's going to be a little distance between you and your buddy. You're not on top of each other while you're doing the gas switches. Something else that's really important to remember is a gas switch is based on the cylinder. So that's what we care about. Gas is in the cylinder. We're about to breathe off of that cylinder. So we're going to do the gas switch based on the cylinder. Sometimes people, usually it's with good intentions, will add extra checks and extra labels because they think that that's gonna help them with a the gas switch. An example would be using certain color hoses or labels on the second stage. The problem is we can connect this regulator to any tank and if we're diving with more than one decompression gas, we absolutely can't rely on a second stage regulator to confirm the switch. Plus, that's one extra label that we need to remember to change if we change our decompression gases. So the only absolute that we have is the cylinder. Any extra labels are gonna cause possibility for error. We don't care if it's green, purple, blue, black, it does not matter the color of the hose or the faceplate or having a label on the second stage. The absolute is what cylinder are we switching to? It's easy enough to swap regs on two deco tanks, or if the boat's helping you crew up, to put tanks in different spots on our right or on our left. So no matter the location of the tank or the color of the regulator, uh, we need to ensure that we're switching to the proper bottle. And that's why the gas switch is based on the cylinder. 
The major takeaway there is you don't need to waste your time with things like this or color coding. The screen hose is nice. It came with the regulator. If it broke on the boat and I replaced it with a standard black regulator hose, and that was part of my gas switch procedure and I relied on that, well, now I'm in a pickle. Same for labels on the second stage. This is just another label that we have to change and we can't rely on this because this isn't the cylinder. This is the cylinder. So major takeaways with labeling, simple is always good. If we're gonna be a little more complex, it has to be clear, especially on our decompression cylinders. The value that really matters on our back gas is the analysis. The value that really matters on our deco gas is the MOD. We always have to have a neck label and a buddy label on our deco gas. Rip those labels off every day to ensure that you replace them. And remember the three absolutes with gas when it comes to technical diving. Analyze your gas, label your cylinders, and do a team gas switch. Thank you for watching.